Did you know that with rowing, you can burn up to 800 calories per hour and it utilizes 86% of the muscles in your body? This gives you a full body workout combining cardio and strength training. Shopping for a rowing machine can seem a bit daunting, especially since it's a less common at-home exercise machine. Here on my channel, I've reviewed a number of spin bikes as well as compact foldable treadmill options, and this is my first experience reviewing a rowing machine. As with any product, there are budget as well as high-end options. The popular Hydro Rowing Machine, aptly called the Peloton of Rowing Machines, has a retail price of $2,245. Its sleek design also includes a 22-inch screen for streaming classes, similar to the Peloton. Their Digital Basic membership is $19.99 per month, and it also includes a free 30-day trial, which I'm currently utilizing. If you'd still like to get a rowing experience, but for 10% the price of the Hydro Machine, perhaps consider this option. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. This machine retails for $229 on Amazon. It has an aluminum and alloy steel frame. This machine has dimensions of 70.5 inches in length and 22.4 inches in height. It has magnetic resistance, giving you a smooth, quiet, power rowing experience. There are two wheels on the front for easy transportation. So this is what the display looks like. Here we have a set, mode, and a reset button. The screen turns on within two seconds of you using the machine. If not, you can always press one of these buttons. The display tracks time, count, distance, calories, and strokes. Here we have the tension knob. It has a range of one through eight. It has a non-slip handlebar. The seat is two inches thick and 12.6 inches wide. It also has non-slip pedals with adjustable Velcro straps. The front and rear stabilizers have adjustable rubber feet. So now I'm gonna go over the assembly process. This product has a net weight of 25 kilograms and a gross weight of 29 kilograms. This is what it looks like when you remove all the cardboard packaging. Here's a layout of the included parts. So on the first page of the instruction manual, they include a parts list. The first step is to assemble the front foot pipe. So here I'm grabbing the front foot pipe. This is the one with the wheels. I'm lifting and placing the machine over it. Here I turn the machine upside down and I'm screwing everything into place. There's also an instruction video on Doefoot's Amazon webpage, so feel free to check that out if you get stuck on any areas. So step two is to attach the rail. I'm going to begin by removing all of the screws. And once again, I'm using the included wrench. We're going to slide it in then reattach the screws, holding it in place. The third step is to attach the seat. And the fourth and final step, unfortunately not depicted, is to simply attach the pedals. You're going to use those two long metal posts to thread it through the machine and attach the pedals. While this machine stores in a vertical position, Folding it down is quite simple. You're first gonna remove the long screw and the yellow knob. Slowly pull down the machine. Reinsert the screw and reattach the yellow knob. So now I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how to fold this rowing machine. It just takes a few minutes and it's quite simple. So first we're gonna remove this long screw. Second, we're going to remove the yellow dial. Next, we're gonna just lift up the back portion and it's gonna pop up right here. From there, we're going to reinsert this long screw. 
And lastly, we're going to reattach the yellow dial. And there we go, it's folded in half. You can see that this is quite stable. I wouldn't have this stored in the upright position around kids as the manual recommends, but I think for adults or if you're gonna put it in a closet or somewhere, this is quite sturdy. From there, you can easily transport this from room to room with the two wheels in the front. So this was my first time trying to work out using the Hydro app. And let's dial it back. So this is what the app looks like. It does show the days of the week, just like Peloton. On the days that you work out, you get a little filled in circle. They have different exercises. They have on the mat, a drive section, a sweat section, breeze, warm up, cool down. And what's also interesting is that they have a learn to row section, which I haven't tried. So here's an example. There's a 15 minute welcome to Hydro. And this guy's actually using it with the Hydro rowing machine. I am pumped to bring you one of the best workouts out there. They do have the location of where these workouts were filmed. Quite a few of them are from Miami Beach. Here's one from Jacksonville. Here's one from Charleston. So I guess these are all on the East Coast. So under the app, they have the home page, and they also have a page for the feed. Say if you're following different members, just like Peloton, you can follow various members. There's also a page for activity or your workout history. And lastly, they have like a hashtag area, which Peloton has hashtags as well. There's also a hydro one-on-one -on -one section for beginners, and they also have a support section. Just like with Peloton, they do have a schedule of live classes. So that's also what you're paying for with the $19.99 per month. Here, you can see the upcoming classes. And if you want to bookmark them or save it, just click on this. And then I guess you can add it to your calendar. So I wasn't too sure what to expect with this app. Surprisingly, they do film this like in an outdoor setting, not using the hydro machine. You can see that the instructor is actually steering the rowing machine and it's not just like a green screen or a background. One downside I find with this rowing machine is that there's no spot to hold your phone. I guess you could like, I don't know, figure out a way to prop your phone up on here. But yeah, there's no other place to really put it. So what I did was just put the phone on the side on the ground. I guess you could prop it up somehow. During the workout, they do call out resistance numbers, but it doesn't show on the screen, which I guess wouldn't matter anyways because they know that I don't have the Hydro machine. This app does cost $19.99 per month, which I feel like is quite expensive. It's more than the Peloton app, which is $12.99 a month. Also, there's no way to cast this via Chromecast onto your TV. I tried it, but it just has like the Apple AirPlay option. So this is a screen that shows up after your workout. It just shows the total time elapsed. There's no way to click the workout and have it start up again. If you wanted to repeat it, I guess you would have to search it again. Here's some on the mat exercises. We have a 15 minute K-pop lengthening Pilates. Hi everyone, I'm Christy and I am your Pilates instructor here at Hydro. What would you feel like your body should get? Half of this is length of the spine, and then half of this is ankle and hip. Today's workout is also not only a lengthening workout, lower it all the way down. So I just did eight minutes on this rowing machine. I'm actually using one of the cycling workouts just for like the music and the motivation. So this is what the display looks like. To turn it on, you just push one of the buttons. Here is the resistance or the tension dial. I have it at a three. It goes from a one to an eight. One is pretty much no resistance. It's more like the neutral position. And here's the feet portion. Of course, we have these Velcro straps that you can remove and tighten for your shoes. I am a shoe size seven and a half, and this is what the foot portion looks like. The rowing machine case is fully enclosed with this plastic covering. So here is the seat portion. It just slides back and forth, obviously. I do need to oil the track because sometimes the seat gets stuck. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what are your thoughts on this rowing machine. Do you feel like it's worth it for the price or would you prefer just to purchase the Hydro or a more well-known brand? There are a few free rowing videos here on YouTube, but if you want something a little bit more consistent, I would recommend to try the Hydro app. With that being said, that should do it for today's video and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.